casting a four barrel throttle body, a gravity die casting in 601 alloy. Part two, the die, the machine and the furnace. This collection of miscellanea on the bench uh, is the pieces that go together to make up the die in which to cast the four barrel throttle body. And that's an earlier one that we cast and it's a bit of a dud, it didn't quite fill the die, but um, this is what this die makes. And basically, first of all, we have this base plate and the casting effectively winds up sitting there. It has these four core pieces that come into it from underneath up through those holes. Uh, then we have these two side pieces. come in to form the side of the casting over the top of that then we have this rather ugly looking device here I won't put it on because it takes a bit of work to get it off uh, and finally we have this little piece that fits in here to give us a, a, a cord area uh, in the casting here is a still of that cord area in the casting it's cored to save machining and eliminate a heavy area that might otherwise be difficult to feed. These bits here are simply brackets that go underneath the base plate. This is a device for holding the little piece in here. And this strange device, that's the pair of tongs we used to get the casting out of the die. <laughs> that's about all of that. Now I'll take all of this stuff, I'll sandblast uh, the, the areas that had dye spray put on them uh, and then I will lubricate and assemble the dye. I'll just move some of this out of the way so we can uh, see the last bit. Oh, it's heavy, this one. And well, that's just this. It's only a, a simple little jig and it holds a raw casting like this in the milling machine. with a couple of quick action clamps. Ah. Ah. Sit, sitting there like that. And then using a large Brobo blade here. In the milling machine, we slice it halfway through, turn the casting around, and then slice it halfway through again. And it's all nicely pitched so that the, the blade comes through about that level, uh, which is just below the filter that's inside there, which I think you can probably just see the filter in there with a little bit of luck, maybe, maybe not. This is the machine that they'll be done in. Uh, it has four hydraulic cylinders, one down the very bottom here, quite a large one, one at either end, and one right up the top. And all four will be used to open and close various bits of this die. In addition, there is another part around the other side, which we might see in a minute, um, that is a slide hammer, uh, pull to open part of the die. Now, and over here, is the the furnace we use this is a bailout type of furnace it doesn't traditionally have a top i have a sort of a, a little lid here to to keep it uh, keep the heat in when it's melting otherwise it takes a long while to melt but there it is it's a hundred kilo pot and there's about 80 kilos 70 to 80 kilos of metal sitting there at the moment tomorrow we'll melt all that it'll take about two hours to melt and the various torches on the die will uh, take about two hours to get the die hot. We come around here, here's the, the slide hammer that pulls one of the little cores out manually. Uh, and that's about it. I'll heat this up with gas, of course, but the, um, the furnace runs on uh, diesel fuel. Uh, and tomorrow morning, we'll see it all running. We've got Big Bertha going here. 75 kilos, I thought it was 100 but it isn't, I measured it, checked out, it holds 75 kilos of metal, took two and a bit hours to get it uh, full and liquid from cold this morning, from an hour and a half to fill it again from lunch.
and I will add a few bits as we go along. Put some of these on the edge to warm up and I'll add them slowly shortly. Put the firmer couple back in so we know where we are of course. 